Hello, brothers and sisters. Um, I was getting ready to go to sleep. The time's 11.51, almost midnight, and I was really, I'm really sleepy. I'm just really wanting to go to bed, but this is something that hit me so hard. Here lately, the last few days, my niece and nephew have really been on my heart because I know they're living a life that I once lived, and, and the devil's got them believing that that's the way they are, okay? I, I wish my nephew, Dustin, would hear this, and if you do, Dustin, I pray you do hear this because it's very important that you hear what your uncle has to say to you. I can't blame the person that molested me when I was four years old for the decisions I made in life when I was in that lifestyle. I made those beyond my own recognition. I made those upon my own knowledge and doing it because I felt that's who I was. You cannot blame you can't blame Mark for what you're doing right now. You cannot blame Mark for your life and where you're living right now. The life that you chose to live, which is with a man. You cannot blame him for that. Yes, he may have been one that caused you to steer more in that, in that path, but you can't blame him because when you come right down to it, you're of the age of accountability. You are 24 years old. You know what you're doing, and you're doing it knowledgeably, knowing you're doing it. And I want to tell you right now that the Lord says it's an abomination to be man with a man. You will not enter, the, enter into the kingdom of heaven, and it's your own fault that you're doing what you do. Anyone out there who's living in a homosexual lifestyle, I'm here to tell you, don't blame nobody for what you're doing. Someone molested you when you're young. Oh, well, this, they made me be this way. No, no, no. They may have helped a decision along the way, but you yourself are responsible for your own actions in this world. Every man has to work out his own, his own salvation with fear and trembling. And it's up to you to come to God wholeheartedly. And God can take that desire of wanting to be with the same sex away from you. Just like he can take the desire of smoking from a smoker, pothead from a pothead, you know, pot from pothead, popping pills from a pill popper, a drug addict. There's nothing our Father in Heaven cannot do. And there's nothing he would not do because he wants you to be in that call when that trumpet sounds. He wants us all to be in heaven. He created a very special mansion for you in heaven. It's you that are denying that but not accepting Jesus Christ into your life as your Lord and Savior. I'm coming on here tonight to just give you a simple, simple fact. I really would rather be in bed right now asleep, but I felt this so hard. And I even heard it'll keep till morning. But you know what? That's me saying that. And I had to walk in here and do this because I know it's too strong. I have to do it. I'm telling you that you need to wise up and ask God to give you knowledge and wisdom. Stop living in the life the devil has painted for you. You're looking at a canvas that was made by the devil. Only God can open your spiritual eyes to see the truth and to see the lies of the wicked enemy. I see him tearing families apart. I see him making kids d dishonor their, their parents. I see him making many people dishonor the God that created them and give them life. Brothers and sisters, pray for those who are in homosexuality or in drug, drug addictions or cigarettes. It don't matter what it is, smokers or anything. If you, know, if you feel it's wrong, pray about it. I do pray for the people I know that smoke cigarettes because I feel it's wrong. I don't know if it's going to send you to hell. I have no clue. And I'm not going to say what, you know, I did say before, I don't think it will. I don't know. I don't know. Because it is defiling the temple of God, okay? Smoking is defiling the temple of God. I believe if you're trying and God knows your heart, then I, God will help you to get out of that. But if you're, just, if you're just sitting there saying you want to quit and you have no desire to, well, God knows that too. So you need to ask Him to direct your path and make your steps for you because... It, you're, you're allowing a vice, a man-made vice, to control your life. Just like the homosexuals are allowing a, a, a man-made man decision that's in their carnal mind. It's not even their heart, it's their mind that is making them think they're supposed to be like that. It's, it's making them think that they are meant to be who they are, and it's not true. The devil's in everything that's a lie, and that lie... Is that a lie? I just come on here to simply put it to you. You can't blame no one for the path you're walking. You walk your own path in this life. You either choose to walk it with Christ, Jesus, or you choose to walk it with Lucifer, Satan, the devil. It's up to you. Don't blame a person who molested you as a child. Yes, it was wrong, and if they don't repent of it, they will have to answer for it. Pray for them and... 
And, and, and tell God, if you have any kind of hatred toward them or anything, ask God to take it. He will. Because I'm here to tell you, from my heart to yours, any of you who are laying blame on anybody who's done anything to you, if they've done you wrong, it was not them. People choose to walk in Christ Jesus or Satan, the devil. And those who are walking in the devil, the devil comes to lie, kill, and destroy, and he uses them to destroy other people's happiness. Don't blame your, your uncle or your aunt or anybody who's done you wrong or made you feel bad. Forgive them. Christ forgave you. And after all, we were, wor we, were, we were dirty, filthy sinners, every one of us. No matter how much good we've done, until, we came to, until I came to Christ, I could not do nothing right. And I still mess up daily because I'm not perfect. I'm still in the flesh. I won't be perfect until I get my glorified body like Christ. But until I get that, I have to pray and ask God to help me. And I've been dealing with a lot of things today. I've been dealing with the fact that one of my friends called me today. They're having problems, and I pray that God will help them. And I don't know who's telling the truth. I don't know who's telling what because I wasn't there. I can't take sides. I can just say, God, help them. Because God knows who's, who's telling the truth. And all I can say is if, if you're in a, if you're in a, a, a marriage and, and, and someone says something about you and it's true, you know, don't lie to somebody. God knows the truth. You might as well come out and tell it so that person can pray for you. Pray for you. And you can pray. You have to pray first of all. No one can get forgiveness for you. You have to get it. But I just want this to go out right now that you people who are in homosexual life, you can't blame nobody for the decisions you're making. You can't blame... Um, you can't blame anybody. You can't blame nobody regardless of what they did. I could sit here and blame the person who molested me. I could sit here and blame my cousin who dressed me up like a girl when I was four years old. But no, I choose not to. I choose to let God forgive me. I mean, I asked God to forgive me. I didn't choose it. I asked God to forgive me. God, forgive me for saying that. I asked God to forgive me. And I choose to let God have the unforgiveness that I would have against the person, the man who molested me at four, and my cousin. On my dad's side, I ask God to give me the ability to give it to him and to forgive them. And I do. I do. I don't hold nothing against any of them. I just pray that God, they hear God's voice and come to him before it's too late. Because time is about it. Father God, I repent of that sin where I said that. God, I repent in Jesus' name. We're not perfect in tongue, and God knows that. And yes, he's already forgiven me. Yes, he has. Brothers and sisters, please pray for the homosexual people. They don't know where they're at. It just seems like to them now it's all perfect because the world, not the Word and not God and not God's people, not us, we don't agree with anything they're doing. I don't think I would even agree with it when I was in the lifestyle because I knew it was wrong. I knew it was wrong. I did. And I thank God for opening my eyes and getting me out of it because I'm telling you right now, it's sending them to hell. There is a hell and the fire is peaking every day for those who choose to walk in that lifestyle. Those who choose to party and and lie and steal and cheat and not treat people like trash. Hell's waiting on you. Those who you, those of you who want to mock and scoff God's people, like myself, who are on here to tell you the truth when God gives us a message, God's going to, God is going to uh, judge you righteously. You may lie to a judge here on earth and you get by with something because you're a good liar, and you can even make the, the jury believe you. But you know what? You can't stand before God and lie because he knows you. He's seen you do what you've done. He knows your heart. There's going to be one place you won't be able to say, I didn't do it. Because God will show you where you did. Brothers and sisters, again, pray for those who are in homosexuality. Pray for those who are having trouble in their life and their family. And pray for each other. Pray for us, Lord. Help us, Lord God, to be able to, to face this wickedness that's coming our way and, and to be able to help others to see the truth that the devil's lying before him in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray for each and every everybody. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lord God bless them. The ones who sees and hears this video, let them, let them hear your voice and let them know that it's you that has seen come out of her, my people. There are many people living in a homosexual life that are, they were gods. They gave their life to God, but they decided to walk away and to be what the flesh is going to quit going to the desires of the flesh and come to the word of God. Get out of the world of man and get into the word of God. Jesus is coming. Are you ready? If you're not sure, please ask him in tonight and repent daily. I don't care what these lying, t like Joseph Prince and him says you don't have to repent. If you didn't, Jesus would, have, would not have said in the Lord's Prayer, forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us.
forgive our sins and we forgive those who sin against us. Jesus is telling you right there. Ask for forgiveness. I hope this reaches the ears and the heart that need it. In Jesus' name. I love you all, but Jesus loves you more. See you soon with Jesus. And I do mean soon. The trumpet could sound at any minute. Oh, how I pray it does. I'm sick of being here, but I don't want to see these people left behind because of their own mistakes. So please, please, please pray for the people who are stuck in sin that they come out of it. God bless you. I'll see you soon with Jesus.